Hi, this is Reese from Creative Serum, and this is the sales module. We're going to be talking about leads on this particular video. Now, this one gets a lot of questions as well because um, leads, managing leads over time, I've been doing this since the 90s, um, and what we have found is that we, we started with, um, in early 2000, the lead bucket and have evolved, and um, we've developed this lead section is how I kind of wanted it, have, and a lot of other software have evolved this type of process as well, and I've watched how I've um, evolved. So the lead section itself is at the same time as a lead and a contact or a company at the same time. It's really putting um, a lead bucket in, but um, the old ways of doing it is you create a lead bucket and then moved it into the database later. This is SMEs don't like that, and it really comes down to if you are familiar with that, you probably know why you, you would hate doing that. But for new people, um, this is an easy way of doing it. So lead itself is new business, simple as that. That's it. So you put an opportunity or a quote in for existing clients, but a lead is new business, full stop. Okay, so in the lead section over here, get a lead tab across here. We're going to go through this um, dashboard here, and then we're going to be giving you some overlay of how um, you can data entry uh, leads into other points. So this is going to be a still 10-minute video of the whole thing, but let's go through it. So first thing, go to the uh, sales drop down menu and then click on sales dashboard. The leads is the first section in the database. To create a new lead, really simple, you can just simply click on the new drop down menu here, create a new lead. You still can actually go in the drop down menu and go new contact and company and then mark the sales tracking of it. I'll go through both scenarios. So the first scenario is a new lead in here and you go in and go um, John um, Billy and you've got the company itself. Now, um, you probably, if you've seen the CRM module, it's the same thing, but you, you can create a company called um, ABCX, for example, and notice if I start typing in the system, it brings up um, other existing people in here. You can choose it, but for leads, it's new businesses. You probably don't want to be doing this. We still bring it across to tell you, hey, this, new, this company's already here. You probably want to mark them as a lead. So we kind of still want to tell you that there is other people, other companies with the same names in here. So if you want to create a new company, you just hover over here and click on new, and it's going to have a bracket new email address. Um, I'm just going to really quickly put gobbledygooks in here because it's going to be a video. Now, the next section here is a comment section. This um, is an overview for the companies and contacts. This uh, person uh, likes to um, buy X, for example. It's just an overview for ever to be on their record. Lead manager. Now, this is something that um, it will default to you in your database if it's you. But a lot of times when there's a new lead, it's the reception or someone else taking the lead itself. And so it is important uh, for you to uh, reassign it. So if it's not you assigning it, it's someone else or your assistant, if you have one, um, you can click on the drop down menu and choose another person as well. And that's great for uh, people who centralize the leads or the person um, takes a call and then assigns it to other regions as well. Now the tag itself, um, another video there we talks about tags and you can group them into buying categories. That's important as well. So when you do a quote itself, it, co it copies a tag onto from the contact or out of the lead to the actual quote itself and that gives you some um, analytics as well for how much, how much money or leads have come from a tag uh, retail for example. Um, um, and then you create the new lead and it's create a new lead in here called ABC it gives you company contacts and, and, and information across here now if you hover your mouse button on here we've got a lead status across that gives you some connective steps they um, are customizable in the old days people used to mix them up a bit but in the new days now I just well probably use our ones which is the connective steps of um, prospect initial contact um, identified needs and so forth, and that's going up the pipe. Um, you've got sales manager, which is sales, as I said, open status as you uh, open close. These are things that will not change. Open one, lost. The other four components. So open is open, obviously. Close one, yay. Uh, lost, um, so it gives you the report. And inactive, sometimes you want to just make it inactive because it's just there for ages and you really want to disappear from the face of the earth. It's not going to happen. Not a win or loss, but we're going to make it inactive. You got the percentage off here. You can do here, if each stage you can change, it changes the, um, this, 
the percentages, which is over here, that's probability. So you can put a dollar amount saying $100 for probability 60. So the weighted total is $60. So the percentage of the total. Um, and the more you go up the pipe, the higher the percentage is over here. So this is a sales comment as well. This is a, um, a sales comment in here. And that's good for reports. So that's a good initial information. We do have a lot of activities, Office 365, all the things that you have. But most good managers want to have an overview of it. So this is good part to put the overview of about that lead itself. And these are great for reports. So you start typing in what you want to push into the report section as well. And that is good for Mr. Manager to go through and, and get a summary of that report as well. So that's really important. The next thing here is days open today. So it gives you a, a calculation of the days open. Estimated value. So this one here, this is what we've done in um, our system, is that we've got something called estimated value. So that's your guesstimation of the, of the um, value. So um, if you do a quote, um, so if you, let's say, do $100, and that's going to go in your report of estimation of $100, but what happens is when you do a quote for $200, the estimation will be superseded by what you call a sales value of $200, and, and therefore it's not $100, bucks, it's $200. Bucks. So we've kind of developed this, a way of going, here's what our guess is, and then as the report goes through, it's called a sales value, and it will get the highest values, which is, it will get the most recent value, which is the quote value on the system there. So at the end of the day, what it means is that the sales um the manager itself will get the actual lead uh, lead value of it. If it's a quote for three hundred dollars, even though you put a hundred dollars here, it will be three hundred dollars in the sales value of the reports as well. So you're gonna don't be fair. So it gets the real actual sales value rather than the guess that you had on the first day, which is always gonna be wrong. Um, competitor, yeah, that's you. You can put a list of competitor. You can click on the manage drop down list to add competitors in here. But this is the one that you have that can your main interest, that's just the main interest spare parts of the lead itself. So you've got other values you can put in there for reporting tools just to um, put aside. So the size shows of just gives you freedom of other interests in here. And the estimation close. So we have a calculations in the settings that goes 30 days plus, which is the 20, uh, 22nd. You can just change the estimation close to be another day, for example. And that's what you get. It's going to be closed. And that's good, again, for reports as well. Let's have a close here. So in here, you can each time go through the opportunity. So in the dashboard, it's really good because you it's really it's really there to work fast and help you out here. So um, in the lead section here, you can filter, okay, and especially with the sales rep, you can go, sales manager, you can say, here's my sales guys, and what job has he got? He's got this job, and let's have a look at it and see the notes. Let's choose another person in here, good user, nothing. I'll go back to the user called admin um, here. And there's all this, um, all the leads for the admin person, and you can review them here. Again, again, you can do different processes with different, um, different sales processes. Could be for different areas. Um, and again, your what's with loss section in here. Whoops. Now, in this section here, um, again, um, you've got uh, chats channels that you can have in the section, so you can. Um, go in here and say, um, if you're a lead manager, you can say, um, uh, um, at uh, sales guy, um, how is this lead going? So that is starting to change the dynamics, how we feel the system should be, is that um, what we still do is give weekly reports to your managers, but what we're finding is that we, um, especially with the coronavirus and you are the office now. The manager has the ability now to just simply um, chat real time and say, where's this quote up to? So it, yes, he can get a weekly report, but we're kind of wanting to have some more interaction and he can just chat and say, um, chat and say, well, where's this guy up to? And so what happens in the dashboard for Mr. Sales Manager guy is he can see that he's chatted um, uh, um, to that person and he can now say, well, what, where, how can we close this person? Um, what can we do? So you can start saying, oh, okay, there's a lead here called Ruth Well, and you can click on new, and you can start typing um, 
uh, interact and say, hey, uh, please do something, blah, blah, blah. And you can say, at um, sales rep again, how is this going? Um, blah, blah, blah. And there can be some more uh, great some interaction with the person in real time. And that means that the sales manager can also probably, because usually the owner of the business or the sales manager is, is, has some intellectual property of how to solve each of the client's needs. So the new sales guy may not know the skills of the trade at that period of time. And it's a great way to nurture it. And it's great for the, sales, the owner of the business or sales manager just to go through and ask some questions. And that's why you want to centralize your quoting system in here because you start having the ability to or lead system here because you can start to guide them through as well in the system. Um, now the other things you can do is that you can quickly make activities and tasks in here. So if you want to make a quick note here, you can just click on the add activity and say um, information across here and just save and close there as well. And if you want to do a follow-up task, the traditional follow-up task, you can say um, uh, call uh, client X, it will show that, and do it tomorrow, for example, and you can create a quick task there as well. And that will show up. So you see there's a yellow uh, uh, task there, the red one's overdue. You can see the overdues, and I can, yeah, I've done those ones there, no problem, really quickly. And it goes back to green. There's some overdue tasks here, five overdue tasks here. So you can do tasks. Now, there are some massive elements here, and I'm going to probably cover in other videos because this is getting a long video on here. So the next thing we're going to do in the lead section is show the um, online forms that you can have as well. So this is the lead section so far that we can manage. The next lead part module that we're going to have is actually using the online forms, and that's great for when you can create, put it to a website, or when you go to um, sites, you can have a, just a questionnaire system in the in the system in, in here that a lot of people have. That That's a key thing, because questionnaires is a, a good way to develop um, some questions, to get more intellectual properties, and then get better um, information from the system. So hope that helps. That's the lead section. Um, now the next section is lead um, surveys or lead um, um, forms. I'll talk to you soon on that. We'll have a look at it. Sorry.